NBC5's Roma Villavicencio is live in our Medford newsroom with more on the new developments from inside the courtroom. Roma? Natalie, prosecutors said in court today that Richard Webster Scott had five DUIs from California, maybe a sixth, but the Oregon DMV said he had a valid license when he got on I-5 that night back in March. One million dollars, no matrix, no release, no work center. Judge Timothy Barnack sending a strong message and setting a high bail for Richard Webster Scott on charges including first-degree manslaughter and DUII. That is, that is correct, and maybe a sixth we're trying to confirm. During Scott's arraignment Thursday, prosecutors said Scott had at least five DUIs out of California and said he was drunk again when he got behind the wheel back in March when he drove the wrong way on I-5 and hit 911 dispatcher Karen Greenstein. The Oregon Department of Motor Vehicles told NBC5 News Thursday Scott does have a valid Oregon driver's license. Sometimes an individual can slip through the cracks, can get a driver's license in another state even though they've been revoked from a different state. Medford attorney Garen Petamonte is not involved in Scott's case but specializes in DUI defense and says it is possible for DMVs to miss information and issue a valid license. Can't guarantee that those agencies, the California Department of Motor Vehicles and the Oregon Department of Motor Vehicles are going to communicate because we have so many states that if someone got revoked in Tennessee or Texas that's going to be difficult sometimes to track. But a worker at the Oregon DMV says Scott's record was clean when the license was issued back in April 2011. Petamonte says an Oregon driver with three DUIs will lose a license forever, but after 10 years can ask a judge to get it back. I tried calling the California DMV to see when those DUIs were issued, but nobody answered. A preliminary hearing for Scott is set for May 8th at 4 p.m. Live in the newsroom, Roma Villavicencio, NBC5 News.